Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another sandbox price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the sandbox chat and before I kickstart the video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to kickstart the video here on the daily chat by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that sandbox from these door prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice bounce to the upside making it to an autumn high at a around the $8.5 mark in what I'm terming as a higher edu 12 count one to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we have been seeing no prices in this massive ABC corrective structure in what I'm terming as a higher edu 12 count two to the lower side and if I give you a measure from the all time high and from the all time high you can see that sandbox is down more than 96% meaning there are chances that we might have seen the bear market low and also the low for that higher edu 12 count two to the lower side and whatever we expect next after seeing the formation of a higher ADO 12 count 2 is an impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of a higher ADO 12 count 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 13.7363 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect that higher ADO 12 country to the upside to do in the next bull market and getting to the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the one hour chart I can jump to the one hour chart for further analysis and before I start my analysis you, you can see that sandbox is up by 5.36 percent meaning uh, we have continued pushing even higher and if I zoom in so that we can get to the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out basing it on the editor structures here on the sandbox chart after making our low at around the 0.37 dollar mark we started a very nice bounce to the upside which has been obeying the ADO 12 structures and if I have my ADO 12 structures on this chart after making our low we can term this as a bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 1 then this is the wave 2 then whatever we are seeing right now is the bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 before we see a wave 4 and then continue pushing even higher in the formation of that wave 5 completing the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 1 to the upside and if I get to see whether this second wave has done the minimum that we expect a second wave to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 that gives me a minimum retracement area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618 which lies between the 0 0.41 dollar mark and the 0 0.47 dollar mark and you can see we retraced into that target area then started another impulsive movement to the upside in the formation of a higher ADO 12 count 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that lies at around the 0 0.5315 dollar mark which is a target area that we are just about to fully maximize here on the sandbox chart in the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 and to give you uh, reasons as to why I think that might not be the high for that wave 3 uh, in the formation of a higher ADO 12 count 3 which is an impulsive wave we also expect to see a 5 wave structure in formation within that wave 3 and on this chart we are not seeing a complete 5 wave structure because we can have these as the first wave to the upside then a wave 2 then whatever we are in at the moment is the formation of that wave 3 before we see a wave 4 and then a wave 5 which should fully maximize the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 in, in blue so that is what I'm expecting and there that is the reason as to why I'm saying this high that we have made at around the 0.5231 dollar mark or maybe the high that we are going to make after fully maximizing the FIB level 1.618 that might not be the high for that higher ADO 12 count 3 because we have not seen a 5 wave structure to the upside and we might see a bit of a retracement in the formation of this wave 4 then continue pushing even higher make one more lower high in the formation of that wave 5 in red to fully maximize the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 to the upside so let's be patient and see how that plays out and also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the RSI we are trading at around the 76 mark meaning we don't have massive room for us to support any movements to the upside side because we have managed to get into the overbought region also taking a look at the MACD on the MACD we have printed a bullish cross 
meaning still higher prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll keep you updated